What is going on everybody? Today we are going to be getting into our not final team, but our team after we hit level 50. We grinded all the way to level 50. I didn't really get to record all the packs. We didn't really pull anything crazy, but I'm going to show you the upgrades I made to the team. We made a lot of huge upgrades. We got a lot of free cards and yeah, we still have a decent amount of coins left. So make sure y'all let me know who I should pick up. But we did make some huge upgrades. Let's get straight into it. The first card that we ended up getting was from hitting level 45. It is this 92 overall Devin Hester route runner archetype with 90 plus route running across the board and with 91 speed with our theme team boost. He is the best receiver in the game and it is not even remotely close. But this is not the only amazing card that we got from grinding to level 50 for free. But this is not the only card that you get for grinding out your level. You also get a tight end in which we will show right now. The next card that you get is this 91 overall George Kittle with 85 speed, 89 short route running, and 85 medium route running. Amazing run blocker, 6'4", 250. He is one of the best tight ends in the game. Based off preference, if you don't want tight end apprentice, you can always run Kyle Pitts, but this is my tight end. I'm using Pitts and George Kittle in my scheme. You'll see later in the video, I'll play my first game, which happens to already be recorded. It's an amazing game. We do great, but yeah, George Kittle, 391 overall for hitting level 50. So what I did in order to level up to level 50, what I did, I went into this Mah Patrick Mahomes early access segment. You guys have to hurry up and do this before the 19th at 11:59, this is going to go away at that time so in two days this is the solo that i did in order to reach level 50 pass for five yards it's play let's just load in real quick and i'll show you what i was doing so basically what you have to do you just have to throw the ball for five yards it's really simple it gives you 100 xp you get around 500 xp per minute which comes out to about 30 minutes per level which it's a little longer than last year but what i would do i would come out and wing tight and i would pick this single back wing tight quick slant any quick slant works but this is the play that i called i have six thousand plus calls of this play basically what you want to do you just want to snap it throw the ball go down and then just replay over and over but another thing you need to be but another thing you need to remember to do is double click in on the left stick to turn on no huddle so that when you replay the solo it doesn't make you pick your play every single time but i'll do it one more time basically you just have to snap the ball throw a slant catch it go down just repeat it over and over and over again it takes forever but i ended up getting two of the best cards in the game for absolutely 100 percent free and now we don't have to worry about grinding level for the rest of the season which is amazing we can just chill grind head to head grind our solos do whatever and we're max level now here is the rest of the team we decided to scoop this 83 overall josh allen we used our power up pass on him just until we get our rookie premiere cards because those are still not out quite yet in the game we also used our 87 to 88 power up pass on devonta smith he is one of the best cards in the game 89 speed and he's like a 300k card that we ended up getting for free obviously excluding the training that we spent which was around 650. The next thing that we did was power up this 87 overall Tyree kill that we did pull from our EA play solos. We bought his power up for around 25k and then we proceeded to power him up with about 650 training just like the Devonta Smith. We also scooped ourselves the 81 overall Raheem Mostert. We used our power up pass on him. We got his power up for around 40k. He was quite expensive but I was more okay with it because he's one of the fastest running backs in the game and you don't you can just use an 81 overall power up pass on him. He's not free but basically you're paying 20k a piece for his power up in his actual card but he's 91 speed and he's great but as you can see the o-line is looking pretty good trent williams we got from campaign lane johnson we pulled from a pack from campaign ben powers and andrews pete we got from doing team builder sets and then we also used our power up pass or 82 to 84 power up pass on ryan jensen but that's going to do it for the offense let's hop into the defense the defense is not as crazy but it is still very good as you can see, 84 overall Nasir Adderley, one of the best cards in the game as of right now. Then we have Pernell McPhee. He's just there to fill cams. Our linebackers are just there to fill cams. And then we have Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. He's one of the best, not even, I wouldn't even say budget because he's kind of expensive. He's like 40, 50 K, but he is one of the best edge rushers in the game. In my opinion, he goes absolutely, he went absolutely crazy last night. We played head to head for around eight hours and i'm going to show you guys the first game in this video 
but we were grinding yesterday on stream twitch.tv slash joker kale it will be in the description make sure y'all go follow me there if you haven't already this is where i i don't I'm, I'm not streaming right now but i will be streaming tonight the night i post this video probably around 8 30 to 9 p.m eastern time as you can see we got our camp chancellor up to an 80 overall we also have JC Jackson just as of now. I think I'm going to quick sell him when we get rookie premieres because I don't really want him anymore, if I'm being honest. Now we powered up Marlon all the way in preparation for his new card that is going to be dropping the 20th at midnight. Superstar MVPs, 89 overall Marlon. We're going to try to scoop him. We're trying to get our coins up so we can buy him on Friday. We also have the pre-order Dion, 85 overall with 89 speed. We have... Fabian Moreau with 90 speed from the Falcons team builders. And then we also did end up scooping up this 84 overall Legereus Sneed with 89 speed. And as you saw in our previous video, we do have Quiddy Pay and we do have Jack Youngblood. But there is a new beast at D tackle, Linval Joseph, one of the best run stuffers in the game. You get him free at level 40 and he's pretty good. He's not the greatest pass rusher, but when he when it comes to stuff in the run, he is top tier in the game. And he was wreaking havoc all of last night. And then over to the special teams, we have Sam Cook. We pulled him from our pre-order packs. And then Graham Gano, which we also pulled from another pack. I forget which one it was. It was probably like a free gridiron pack or something. But yeah, he's there. And then we have Devin Hester returning kicks and punts, as you guys can see. But that's going to do it for showing the team. Let's jump straight into the gameplay that was recorded last night. It was a, an amazing first game of the year for me. And I had a good time recording it. Our two highlight players... Happen to have amazing games, so let's jump straight into that. Dom Rage. Let's get it, man. First game of the year. You thought you could scum kick Devin Hester? <laughs> Idiot. Kittle, yes sir. Kittle, glitch him. Let's go, man. First touchdown of the year. Oh my God, who just missed that tackle? Oh my, what was, wow, Njoku just has the best spin on the planet, huh? Jesus. Hester, Hester, Hester! What a play! Oh my god! We grinded 30 hours for that card. He better make plays. Come on, bro. Oh my god. JC Jackson. Drop picks are still a thing? Oh my god. Where the hell is the third at? Oh! Quiddy pay, that needs to be six! Bro. Oh my. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Pass leads are terrible, but Kittle is open. 
Let's go, man. Do it, I guess. Nope. Over there. Excuse me. Oh my god, that cut just hoed me so bad. It made me cut like right when the ball was thrown over my head. Oh shit. What's better in loyalty players? Should you select whoever you want? Deshaun Elliott. That's why we put him on the field, baby. Let's go, man. I just need blocks and this is a touchdown. Oh, my. What the hell is that animation, bro? Oh. Uh. Bro, are you playing PL or are you just like playing online ranked? Oh my god, dude. What the hell is happening? Bag. Let's go. Oh my god. Go. You have to change the direction of a squirrel with four fingers. Like, what are you doing? I did. Hester. Bye. Stop running man against my team. I'm too fast. Bye bye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you never. Get out of my game. As you can see, my opponent quit after we scored that touchdown with Devin Hester. We ended up scoring two touchdowns with Devin Hester, and we scored two touchdowns with George Kittle. It was a great first game for both of them. I spent countless hours grinding them, and they ended up showing up in our first game. But either way, I know I need to be better commentating during the games. I would just happen to be streaming during this game, so I wasn't communicating as much. But I know I need to commentate better. I need to do better with the talking during the gameplay. Either way, I appreciate you guys coming through, watching the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can, what I can do better. Like I said, trying to improve every day. Hopefully, we'll have another episode tomorrow. But this is going to be No Money Spent Episode 3, and that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody watching. Peace out.